Good afternoon, astronomy enthusiasts. Last night on Sunday, September 7th, around 1845 local time, the skies over Germany were set ablaze by a spectacular fireball meteor. This dazzling cosmic event has sparked excitement across social media and among sky watchers. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and today I'm diving into what happened what a fireball is and why this sighting is so special. At approximately 6.45 p.m. yesterday, residents across Germany reported a brilliant streak of light tearing across the evening sky. Eyewitnesses described it as a glowing ball of fire bright enough to rival the setting sun, with some even reporting a faint boom or a rumbling sound. The American Meteor Society and the International Meteor Organization have already received dozens of reports with sightings concentrated in regions like Bavaria, North Rhine, and Saxony. This fireball was likely a chunk of space rock, possibly from an asteroid or a comet burning up as it entered the Earth's atmosphere. Unlike typical meteors, fireballs are exceptionally bright, often brighter than Venus, and can sometimes produce sonic booms or leave debris. While no meteorite fragments have been confirmed yet, organizations like Global Fireball Observatory are analyzing data to determine if any of it reached the ground. So why all the fuss about fireball? Well, these events are more than just a pretty light show. Fireballs give scientists a window into the early solar system. The rocks that cause them are often billions of years old, carrying clues about the formation of planets and even the origin of life. When a fireball produces meteorites, researchers study these samples to learn about the chemistry of our cosmic neighbors. Plus, fireballs are rare and thrilling. Most meteors are tiny like grains of sand, but fireballs can be the size of a basketball or even larger. The fact that this one was visible in the early evening, just after sunset, makes it even more remarkable. As daytime or twilight fireballs are harder to spot, if you saw it, you were part of a rare cosmic moment. Social media is buzzing with posts from Germans who witnessed the event. One user on X described it as like a firework from space. Another reported, feeling the ground shake slightly. Scientists are eager to collect more eyewitness accounts to triangulate the meteor's path and potential landing sites. If you saw the fireball, you can report it to the American Meteor Society or to the International Meteor Organization Fireball Report form online. Your input could help recover meteorites or map the meteorite's trajectory. And here's a fun tip. If you're in Germany and you want to hunt for meteorites, look for unusual dark rocks with a fused crust, thin, thin, lazily coating it from the heat of the atmospheric entry. They say that you should always consult an expert before handling potential space rocks. Yeah, put it, you know, wear gloves, possibly, you know, uh, latex gloves so you don't contaminate the sample. And maybe put it in a clean Ziploc bag. Here is one of the reports of the fireball sighting. It says, not sure about the exact time I saw the fireball. I took a photo. I like to see that. Um... It was a total lunar eclipse in between the photos. I saw the fireball. It was bright, light yellow, and had a red, dark, red tail. It moved from west to east. When I first saw the fireball, my head was tilted back. My chin was about nose level, and then it disappeared. They also say that after a few seconds, I saw um, this last night. I heard a sound like someone shot a gun. It sounded like it came from the nearby area, similar to how it usually sounds when someone shoots across a field or in front of the forest. 
may be 500 meters to one kilometer away. Boy, that's a real interesting report. Here's another report from Germany. I was looking upward when I saw it. It was right above my head. The color was white. Another report from Berlin said it was light green. The different colors of the meteor depends on the chemical composition, what it's made of. So light green was probably magnesium. Yellow would be, uh, or orange would be sodium. Um, calcium would be purple, probably. Um, yellow would be um, iron. And then red would be nitrogen and oxygen. So it's important to know what the color was. So as I wrap up this event, let's reflect on how events like this remind us of our place in the universe. This fireball over Germany is a dazzling reminder that our planet is part of a dynamic, ever-changing cosmos. Scientists will continue analyzing data from this event, and who knows, maybe meteorites will be found, unlocking new secrets from space. For more updates, follow astronomy groups on social media and check out resources like the American Meteor Society or the Global Fireball Observatory. And until next time, keep your eyes on the sky. You never know whether the next cosmic spectacle will light up right above you in the night sky. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.